Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Bassam from Linatech and uh, we have special guests from Lenovo, Lenovo Data, uh, data Center, uh, Dr. Uh, Chris, Chris, sorry, Chris. Dr. Chris Cooper, uh, General Manager and Director uh, from um, Lenovo Data Center. How are you? All good. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you for having me here. Okay, uh, I will ask you a simple question. Can you tell us more about uh, Lenovo Data Center in the uh, United, United uh, Arab Emirates? So, we're very proud of the fact that the Lenovo Data Center Group, um, according to IDC, is currently the number one in market share for the x86 server business here in the UAE. Okay. So, so that gives us you know, a, a, a strong position in terms of relevance in the marketplace. Of course, of course. So our theme here at Jitex 2020 is actually the data centered. And you might think, what does that mean? Well, there's a huge volume of data that customers are generating, but they're not actually utilizing today. So our role is to help them identify where the value is in that data that's not being used to further help them with their digital and intelligent transformations and remain competitive in the current marketplace. Okay. So you'll see here at Jitex, we've got a broad portfolio of offerings that we're showing. And um, you know, we're one of the very few organizations that has 5G enabled mobile phones through PCs, through edge computing. Yes. Um, you'll also notice that we're showcasing with a number of our partners. Um, and when we look, for example, at what's happening in this growth, a huge volume of growth of new data, and also look at what's happening with the number of connected devices proliferating as we go forward, then that brings about a great opportunity. And then there's a gap really in data is generated outside of the data center. At the moment, they say circa 10%. Going yeah. forward by 2025, that's deemed to reach 70%. So how do you do that? Because then you need infrastructure that normally resides in a data center or cloud at the edge. So we're showcasing a number of examples of our edge computing offerings on the stand this year in conjunction, for example, with Microsoft. Great. So Microsoft, very strong in the hyperscale cloud services yes, business, very strong in the traditional data center with hyperconverged. We're the only ones that are now providing them with a platform. So we have an appliance called the MX1021 that delivers Microsoft Azure at the edge. And when we say at the edge, this is physical infrastructure that's designed to operate outside of a traditional data center in a secure environment. So we've got a huge amount of security that's built into this. Yes. It's designed to run at 12 volts DC as well as 230 volts AC. Um, if anyone tries to tamper with it, move it, undo the, the cover, then it deletes the encryption keys of the data storage stored inside that device and advises the administrator. And again, this has everything in a box. It's data center in a box. So you've got your compute, your storage, your memory, Security. and network. Okay. So we have an LTE modem built into the motherboard. It's 5G enabled. And then you put your applications on that. What does, uh, what does it mean uh, that the Jitex or the Lenovo attending in Jitex 2020 after we've been through the last year? After the year we've these, had, yeah, exactly. <laughs> roll on 2021, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So we're absolutely thrilled, really excited to be here this year. Um, we've been represented at Jitex for a number of years now as the data center group, and, and here we are representing the one Lenovo. And the reason why we're excited to be here is it's face to face. We've all missed this interaction of meeting yeah. with customers and partners, and for us, it gives us a great opportunity once again to get in front of our customers and partners and understand some of the business challenges they're facing as they really try to go through this digital transformation of their own business, leading towards an intelligent transformation. So we're able to have those in-depth discussions and share with them the technologies that we're showcasing and some of the new technologies that are now becoming available that can help them with that digital transformation and help them remain competitive. Okay. So whether that's 5G, edge computing, whatever it is, IoT, you know, there's a, there's a great opportunity for us to have that in-depth discussion and just brainstorm some ideas. Yes, yes, great. Uh, can you give me some examples of uh, 5G applications uh, uh, in data center, uh, data centers in general? So, just to put a slight spin on that, what we see happening is obviously there's been during the pandemic there's been this huge shift towards mobile working. Yes. Okay. And a lot of organizations didn't have access to their infrastructure, for example. Yes. So there was a real move and shift towards 
being able to provide it as a service through the CSPs and the hyperscalers. Yes. But now as that gener data is now being generated more and more outside the data center, and as there's more requirements to do analytics at the edge and artificial intelligence, what we're seeing is there's a growth in that business. And that growth is around edge and edge to cloud. Okay. Because the challenge you have is when you're in an edge environment, you're outside of a traditional data center and you need compute, but you don't have the physical bandwidth, you have bandwidth limitations yes, yes, and latency yes. limitations. You know, if you're doing driving or in an autonomous vehicle, the last thing you want to do is reach out to a cloud service provider and say, what should I do at this intersection? Yes. Should I accelerate? Should I brake? You need that infrastructure to make the real-time decision yes. at yeah. the edge. Exactly. So we're demonstrating how edge computing works okay. and giving some real examples of where these can be used in vehicles, um, so in the road and transport organizations, where they can be used, for example, in manufacturing, okay. industrial, IoT. And medical uh, applications, maybe? Medical applications. Medical also. applications. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we've got examples where we've actually already sold these edge computing devices and they've been used in pop-up hospitals and yes. this has been for COVID testing. Yes. You know, we see them here. You have the tents that build up at the side of a hospital for the drive-throughs. Well, that drive-through doesn't necessarily have infrastructure yes. to link into a hospital information system. Yes. So we can actually run that hospital information system in this box, not much bigger than a PC. It's ruggedized. It's designed to operate up to 55 degrees centigrade and run that and provide that infrastructure at the edge. Great. What is Lenovo plan? for uh, 2021 or the next year. Oh, well, uh, on the edge of the next year. We hope everything uh, goes fine. But what is uh, the plan, the plan for uh, the next year? So for Lenovo Data Center Group, we, we will continue to grow out our partner network. And our partner network is not just our resellers and value added distributors, it's our partner networks around our ISV relationships. Because as we're continuing to discuss with end user customers and, and partners, we need to keep building out the volume of new solutions that take advantage of the latest technologies like 5G, Edge, and Edge to Cloud. So we'll continue to proliferate, educate the, the, the ecosystem, and help them and assist them as we drive forward these new solutions into the marketplace. Great, great. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Dr. Chris Cooper. I am so honored to have you here and host you. Thank you so much. My absolute pleasure. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.